Now I've been in a little bit of a hobby slump. You might have noticed that I've not really posted anything for a couple of months. We're going to get into that later on in the video. And I want to talk about how I'm starting to get my enjoyment of the hobby back and some of the reasons why it went away in the first place. So let's skip the boring stuff, let's skip the building and let's get straight on to the painting. Now the model that I'm painting in today's video is the new Soul Blight Graveyards character model that Games Workshop kindly sent me out. And the reason that I'm painting it is it just looks really cool and it really inspired me to pick up a brush and get painting again. Now, before anyone panics, the reasons I've not been feeling it and not really had much motivation, there's nothing serious going on. It's just one of those things that happens. It happens to all of us at various points in our miniature painting careers or hobbies or whatever it is that we're doing with it. We just get burnt out. It's a completely normal thing. You get it in all sorts of hobbies, not just miniature painting, where you just need to take a break from what you're doing and do something else. Now, there's obviously different ways to approach dealing with burnout. There are multiple videos online. I've spoken about it before in videos that I've done and everyone has got an opinion and has got like a tips and tricks and, and hacks and stuff you can do to, to help get your mojo back. But I think what we need to do collectively as a community and just as people in general is just be okay with being burnt out. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. It doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. It doesn't mean that you've done something wrong or that there's anything wrong with you. It just means that you've done a lot of a thing and it's your body's way of saying you need to take a break and do something else for a bit. I think collectively as a group, we enjoy doing what we're doing. And then when we don't have that enjoyment there, we feel like well, there's something wrong and we need to fix it. We need to work out a way to trick ourselves into enjoying it again and how to get back into it and stuff like that. And I think sometimes that can be helpful if you're just trying to push past like a difficult project or a tedious project or something like that. But in most cases, I think that just taking a break and just going, I'm not feeling it and that's fine. I'm going to go and do something else. I'm going to go and read a book or I'm going to play video games or I'm going to get some housework projects done or some DIY or gardening or whatever else you've got going on because most of us have got more than just the one hobby because we like to collect them like miniatures we collect hobbies and we never have enough time to do all of them so just switch gears and do something different I felt a little bit of anxiety for not really doing anything just because I obviously make content on the hobby that I do and because I wasn't doing any hobby stuff that meant I wasn't making any content and the longer that went on the more the stats went down and then I started to let that affect me and I did spiral a little bit until I sort of looked at it and reevaluated what I get out of doing YouTube and why I do it and then I started to feel a lot better. I've spent time with friends, I've met up with a bunch of people at a convention last weekend in Sheffield and those things combined with seeing new releases and new projects that I'm excited to do and start, it sort of got me back into it and got me excited to start painting again. I allowed myself that time to go and do other things and just take a step back from the hobby despite the fact that it meant I wasn't putting content out. But that meant that when I came back, when I started to get that sort of feeling for wanting to sit down and pick up a brush and do some painting, I had a load of excitement again because I'd not forced myself into doing anything. I'd not forced myself to sit down and paint. I didn't have any resentment towards any part of the hobby. And now I'm sat painting. I've been working on three different projects. I'm really excited for a couple of new projects. I know I said I wasn't starting any new armies this year, but after painting this Soul Blight Graveyard model, I think I might be starting another new Age of Sigmar army. I'm planning out a Heres, Heres Horacy? Horus Heresy army, as well as getting excited to do some more work on my Necrons and restart my Salamander army once 10th edition comes out later this year. It's been nice taking a bit of a break and allowing myself to just kind of reset my interest in both miniature painting and content creation. And now that I've come back to it, I've got a fresh perspective and loads of new ideas and fresh enthusiasm for the stuff that I'm doing. I've got a few videos coming out in the near future. One that's been a really long time coming, a long-term project that I'm excited to finally get done and a couple of new ones as well. And I've got loads of plans for new cool stuff coming out in the future, given all the reveals and, and new stuff that we've seen coming out soon. Last thing that I want to say before I sign off is just that if you are feeling a bit worn out and a bit burnt out, 
there's not always a shortcut to getting back into it. There's not always a handy tips and tricks video that you can just watch and it'll fix everything. Sometimes you do just need to allow yourself that little bit of time to step back, relax, do something else, and then come back once you've had a bit of a reset. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think we do need to normalize taking breaks from our regular hobbies because in the end it's the healthiest thing to do and it means that you're not going to get burnt out completely and walk away from something that you've enjoyed for such a long time. Thanks for checking out the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know what you do when you're running low on motivation and how you get yourself going again in the miniatures hobby. If you want to help support the channel, all the links and stuff are down below. Massive thank you to all our Patreons, you guys are awesome. And I'll catch you in the next one. Until then guys, enjoy your hobby.